Hey, beautiful people. So, it has been a really long day. Like, I look tired. Um, but welcome to day two of my seven-figure journey vlog. And I have a really good story for you guys. It's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Like, I feel like I'm in a version of going back to high school. So, tell me what you guys think about this. Okay, so some backstory before I give you the details of my day today. So for those of you that have followed along, I've said this before, but I am a social introvert. I used to be very shy as a child. I'm not as shy as anymore, but I am a social introvert, meaning I socialize when I want to, when I have to. That's not something that I do all the time. Um, it, it is what it is. Like I talk to people that I talk to all the time that I am cool with. And if I'm not cool with you, I'm not saying that I'm not going to talk to you, but my conversation is going to be somewhat limited. I'm not saying that I'm not cool with you, but I just haven't gotten to know you or whatever the case may be. Right. And when you guys see me, I'm going live. I'm like super bubbly and things like that. That is my, also my personality. But I do that when I'm put in positions where I have to or I want to, right? So now time for the story. Now, guys, I go out and I have a standing vending event every Saturday where I'm at a, um, a farmer's market, right? And there is lots of vendors out there. I've been doing this since the very end of 2020. Yeah, the very end of 2020. Um, so, yeah. So, that's when I started going back doing vending events. Because I there was a period of time where I wasn't doing any. And then I found this standing vending event. So, now I go to go there every single weekend. And vendors come and go. There's some that have been there the same amount of time that I've been there longer whatever some people just don't come back and I'm typically like in the same area set up wise it's kind of for it's first come first serve really but I'm typically in the same exact spot or at least in the vicinity so and that's pretty much standard for everyone for the most part so you know you get to know the people around you all right um I happened to be talking to one of my vending friends and this was like at the end of the day so her and I were just like just chatting no not too many other vendors were out there around and she pulled me to the side and she said to me what someone else told her again guys I felt like I was in high school I said this situation because someone was upset about me not talking to them now my thing is the type of energy that you give all, that you want to receive, you have to be willing to also give that energy. This person, grown person, older than me, was upset that I did not talk to them. Now, I was not purposely not talking to them. I just don't know them like that. So, in my opinion, if they wanted to have a conversation, all they had to do was just talk to me and I would have talked back or whatever. And then we would have started building a relationship that way. But no, they were offended by the fact that I did not talk to them. So she happened to mention to me that now, guys, I'm vending my skincare products here. And sometimes my son comes with me, um, but he normally goes to his dad's on the weekends. So it's summer out right now and he's come with me a few times. When he comes, he sells waters for like $2 and some snacks. Um, occasionally, I'll have the waters with me when he's not with me, simply because we still have leftover waters in the cooler or whatnot. So this person in question asked me one day to buy three bottles of water. Now, these waters are, I sell them for $2. He wanted to only give me $5 
for six waters. Now, yeah, I could have given him a discount, but I, but I didn't. I said no. Like, why is this person feel like, why does this person feel like they are entitled to a discount, right? Now, here's the kicker. They sell food. I have bought food from them before. When I bought food from them, I did not ask for a discount. I didn't expect a discount, anything like that. I paid full price for it. Okay? Now, I'm the type of vendor who typically packs my food with me for a couple different reasons. One, if I don't pack food with me, now I'm wandering around away from my table, having someone watch my table, trying to figure out what I'm going to eat, wasting time when I should be at my table selling my products, right? Two, things at these type of events are not always the healthiest. And your girl is trying to be somewhat healthy here. So 99% of the time, I have food with me. And this person has asked me to buy their food several times. And for a while, I didn't, I thought they only sold one thing. Um, and what they were selling, I had no interest in. And then I found out that they were selling something else. So that day, I didn't have food. I didn't bring my food with me. So I purchased from them. Now, this was months ago, guys. Right now, again, this is summer, summertime. This was months ago that I purchased with them. Didn't ask for a discount. They didn't offer a discount because I am a fellow vendor. They see me all the time. I didn't think anything of it. I didn't expect to be getting a discount from them. So they give free food sometimes to people around me all the time and they again have asked me about eating their food and i always say no thank you because i didn't want it right now fast forward um this person that that like about like two weeks ago or was it last week i can't remember so my son bought wings from them because that is what my son eats. He likes chicken or whatever. And I knew that they had chicken and he didn't bring his food. He didn't want me to pack him a sandwich or anything like that. He said he was going to eat at the, at the event as he was selling his waters. Um, so I was like, oh, you know, well, they have chicken. Go get chicken from them. Granted, they know he's my son. Because they then, like, a couple spots over from me. And my son comes with me sometimes. They saw my son there. They didn't give offer him a discount or anything like that. And I'm not expecting for them to offer him a discount. But this per person, now this is where I started to get really angry. Because that day, I had to get my son to a soccer game. And for whatever reason, my car had died. And I asked this person for a jump. And he told me he didn't. He couldn't jump me. He didn't have anything or whatever. So I didn't think anything of it at the time. So now fast forward. So I ended up getting my car jump. Went to my son's soccer game. Got him there on time. So at the time, I wasn't thinking anything of it. Like he said he didn't have jumper cables. He couldn't jump me. Fine. Whatever. Cool. Like move on to the next person and to see if they can help me. Now. When my friend happened to be telling me about this, I don't know if this was the exact words, but it was something along the lines of she wouldn't even give me a discount on water, but had the audacity to ask me for a favor to jump her car. I'm like, really? So did this person really not have jumper cables to help me jump my car? Or did this person decide that they're not going to help me because I wouldn't give them a discount on water, guys? Um, considering the fact that I have bought stuff from their business as well as my son. My son bought stuff from their business that exact same day. So is this really about water or is this about something completely different? Is this about the fact that you want me to be buddy buddy with you and talk to you but yet you don't even talk to me either? So what is this really about? Because I'm really a nice person. I talk to people around me all the time. I just don't necessarily go out of my way to talk to them because I don't know them. I don't know. It's a husband and wife team guys here. So I'm like, are we really doing this? Are we really in high school? Like, are you purposely not helping me because you have 
something against me. Like I've never done anything to this person. So now I'm like thinking back about other interactions that I've had with him and his wife. And again, I'm not friends with them. I'm like, you know, it's just someone that I see and we've had spoken but it's been in like group conversation like you know you're talking a group of people are talking you chime in about whatever is going the topic is and that's pretty much about it but he and I we don't talk like because we're not buddy buddy um and again it's not purposely that I'm not talking to him I'm just like we don't know each other so I'm like does this person have something against me now I have watched this person and it didn't even really occur to me like pop into my head into this situation i have watched this person watch me put up my canopy tent on my own and take it down on my own now here's the kicker he has helped other people around me but at not ever has he once asked to help me so is this really about water or is this about something else Hmm, I don't know. You guys tell me. Is this about me not giving them a discount considering the fact that I've like been a supporter of his business twice and they've never offered to give me a discount? Hmm. So what is this about really? Really? And this whole water thing happened recently. I just happened to be talking to my friend and she's telling me about this about how they think that I'm not a nice person and like all of this stuff like how am I not a nice person like you want to have conversations with me then talk to me then have a conversation I'm the type of person where again I'm a social introvert like I don't care if you talk to me or you don't talk to me like it's not offensive to me because we're not on that level and if we were on a level where like we were talking to each other and then all of a sudden you stopped talking to me then yes I would be like what is your problem or if I stopped talking to you that's that's different but we are not on that level but if you would like to be on that level all you have to do is start talking to me I have no problem with anyone that I've been with that are around me no I've never talked bad about this person but yet they want to try to tarnish my name to others now if they said this to my friend i'm pretty sure they've said this to other people which is like crazy to me because i've never done anything to either him or his wife so what do you think this is really about comment but thanks for tuning in to day two of my vlog bye guys